Are you tired of this happening to you? Yo, how, bro? Or maybe even this. Yo, what? Possibly even this. Dude, how, how did I miss? So as you saw, those clips really bad. Missed a lot of my shots. I had no good angles on the guys I was fighting, but I'm going to show you one trick that I had started using that really changed the way I fought in this game for Tarkov and helped me win more gunfights, even if I had the worst aim possible. I'm going to show you what the difference between a good flank is and a bad flank. So you can have a higher success rate when coming out of your raids. All right, so let's break down this fight. So as you can see, I'm walking, walking, chilling, vibing, and boom, guy. Shoot, 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 miss, miss, hit, 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 whatever. Start lighting me up, man. I'm like, oh, fuck, I gotta get out of here because whatever he's using is a lot better than what I'm using. A little bit of suppressing fire, and then I'm gonna bounce back. Inject myself a little bit of the golden drug and I'm gonna start my flank right about here. So I peek up to make sure he's not chasing me because you wanna make sure before you start doing this flanking shit that the person that you're fighting is not smart enough to chase you down. Because if they do decide to chase you down, your flank is really not gonna matter because they're just gonna hunt you down, they're gonna get you, and it's, the fight's gonna be over. So I know that he went down, so I'm going to push as far right as I think. I can go so i know there's a valley right here in between these two bunkers so i'm gonna go to the right side of the second bunker trying to see if he comes up this middle or maybe he just goes back the way he came all right so some time passes and bingo there he is he's looking he's searching for me but i'm so far right that i'm not in the area he thought i would be in and boom he's dead i lose the body bada bing bada boom on to the next lesson it's important to note in this is that I did not stay in the general area that he thought I would be in, the area that I thought he would search. You want to flank hard left or hard right, but you want to make sure you go far enough that you have space to look at the whole area. And to break it down top view, this is what happened. Dead. All right, in this next clip, I know I have a player to my right, but I also have someone to my left. I thought it was another player, but apparently the scav and the player work together as one, so fuck them. But as you can see, he dropped the scav. Kinda starts lighting me up again, of course I'm freaking running away because I'm losing. Gotta put that flank on the hold. So here I am bouncing back, making sure he's not chasing me real quick. Got the thermal scope up. And then as you can see in the next clip right here, I am going to push back further after I heal up a little bit to make sure I don't bleed out. And as you can see, I push back enough to where I can see around the building I was being shot at from and the building that he would assume he would think I would take cover from. So I thought, well, fuck. These bushes look pretty concealed. I'm gonna hide in one of these bushes back here in the dark. I don't have MVGs on. All I got is a thermal scope. So I sit here, heal up a little bit. Hopefully, he doesn't follow the blood trail, but I stopped the heavy bleed, so there shouldn't be one. All right, so some time passes by, and look who it is. Homie is trying to flank yet again. He's trying to flank me after I flanked him. But luckily for me, I could see around the whole building and I was able to see his flank coming. I met you, like again, I harp on it, but you have to make sure you push so far right or so far left that you can see the whole area. Trust me, they're going to chase you if they want you. They will chase you if they want you. Especially if you guys like gig it out like this, man. Quad nods, a P90 and level 5 plates. Like, he's going to chase you, bro. But anyways, guys, that does it for today's video. I try to make it short and to the point. I don't like to add a bunch of bullshit in there because I'm just wasting your time, wasting my time, and no one likes having their time wasted. If you found this tip helpful and you want some more gunfights after this, please let me know down in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. It really helps out the channel a lot. But as always, guys, have a good rest of the day, rest of the week, rest of the month, whatever it is, and peace.